Uh, and and so, you know, we're limited on time anyway. And so many people just, you know, they like they like to get their hair tied in the knots over, over different stuff. And you know what? You don't. You're not guaranteed to live another day, folks. Uh, so whether you're here or not to even be alive to see the full fruition of everything the New World Order is doing, why worry about it? You don't even guarantee tomorrow. You know, do the things we're supposed to be doing as the Lord's people, uh, feeding the homeless, visiting the widowless, the children, I mean, the things the Bible commands us to do. Uh, and you don't have to worry about it. Let tomorrow take care of itself. The Lord's always with his people. He guides you in what he wants you to do. Those who seek him, those who can, who can uh, recognize his direction, hear his voice. Uh, I get real tired of, of hearing from the, the, you know, a lot of the people that are sold out to the church crowd, the church doctrines, that oh, the Holy Spirit's leading me. Well, you know what? The Holy Spirit doesn't lead you in error, and so many of them are in error uh, that they they're, they're convinced they're being led by the Holy Spirit. They're convinced that the, that everything they're holding on to uh, is of God, and they need to just step back, get away from the teachings of man. Let the Lord teach them themselves. Uh, because the Lord, uh, if you look at the churches in the last days, Church of Laodicea, he's standing on the outside of them. He's standing on the outside of the door, leaving the church for judgment. He's not even a part of them. He's not inside the churches. He's standing outside of them, outside the door. Uh, so his presence isn't in these churches. And you'll hear these same people that are in these churches saying they're led by the Lord. They're not. Uh, so that's my two cents. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I was reading this thing earlier about Sorcha File, and she's one of these people, folks. Uh, she's over at WhatDoesItMean.com, and she's one of these Russian analysts uh, and uh, sends out emails about her analysts, their analysts, Russian analysts, information about what's going on in the United States all the time. And I take her for a grain of salt because there's a lot of things she says that if you don't live in this country, it's easy to sit in another country and tell you what that country is doing. Because she doesn't understand things over here, uh, I don't think. I don't think she has a handle on how things really are over here. Uh, she's kind of more sensationalistic, uh, more fatalistic. <laughs> and so anything that she sends out, I take with a grain of salt. She does have some nuggets here and there that are interesting. And one of them being, because I was just reading earlier today about Cindy Sheehan, and she's the mother of an Iraqi uh, soldier that was killed in Iraq last year. And she's camped out about a mile from Crawford Ranch in Texas, uh, and and she's uh, demanding a meeting with George Bush over why her son died, why he's lying about weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, why he caused the whole war in Iraq based on lies, and she wants answers. And so she's pretty much doing her own thing out there. She's pretty much alone and uh, throwing up a protest. And so she's not leaving until she gets a meeting with Bush. Well, Sorcha Fayal sends out this thing today on martial law in America. And in it, she says that Bush isn't even in Texas. Uh, she says that he is in Saudi Arabia. Uh, and so this is, uh, you know, again, take it with a grain of salt. Must we see him pop up in Texas? Anybody see, anybody literally see him in Texas lately? Uh, he very well could be in, in Saudi Arabia instead of being in Texas. Uh, Suresh Fayal says that intelligence, intelligence analysts are reporting the Saudi Arabia government has surrounded uh, with military forces a large area of their capital city, Riyadh, including the United States, British, and Russian embassies in order to protect the American President George Bush who entered Saudi Arabia last evening with a large contingent of his family members and personal aides. Uh, it is interesting to note in these reports, she says, that the American president was accompanied by United States military protection forces instead of the customary contingent of Secret Service protection forces, uh, leading some intelligent analysts to suspect the American president no longer has confidence in those Secret Service forces protecting his life. So according to Sarah Shafayel, uh President Bush is now in Riyadh, Saudi America. There had been reports that the American embassy in Saudi Arabia had been closed down for two days uh, because of bomb threats there. And, of course, she's saying the reports were lies. Uh, they weren't closed down because of bomb threats. They were closed down uh, because President Bush is there with uh, his family and aides. And so it's going to be one or the other. Uh, if anybody else has info on this, you can send it to me at cherrytalkradio at yahoo.com. Uh, and during the show, 
You can fast blast me a message uh, to Sherry Talk Radio at yahoo.com. Send me an email, or you can IM me through Yahoo Messenger at Sherry Talk Radio at yahoo.com. If you have a, a question or a comment, uh, and that's where I am right now, and you know, I'll, I'll pick it up over there. Uh, I do have a question from a listener. I would like to get your opinion about Alex Jones. Uh, <laughs> Alex Jones, uh, she has a lot of good information, and, and, and people have sent me DVDs and, and uh, uh, videos of the stuff he's put out. Uh, good information, but, you know, so what? Everybody's got good information. Uh, who's he working for? You know, what spin is he working? Is he really working for the Patriots of America? Is he working an agenda, an arm of the New World Order? Is he a pawn? Is he whatever? And uh, I know that a lot of the patriots that I uh, trust don't like him. I've never been led uh, to, to really uh, go to his sites uh, to be a part of his whole uh, window dressing and facade surrounding all of his sites. He does have good material, but it's, but it's like Al Cuppet. You know, Al Cuppet has good material too, but Al Cuppet works for uh, the Zionists. And, you know, uh, so a lot of people, uh, suspect about Alex Jones as well. What's his, what's his, what's his true intentions? Uh, you know, I don't have any proof what he's doing one way or the other. Uh, but I don't necessarily follow, I'm not involved with the whole charade surrounding Alex Jones. I, I, I do my own thing. Uh, the Lord has led me over to the alien agenda. Uh, exposing the New Age agenda, and that's pretty much what I stay into. Uh, and other people he has led me to to, to understand and, and, and recognize what's going on today. Alex Jones has not been one of them. And so uh, <laughs> maybe Larry uh, can give you more information about Alex and the whole thing, that he's always fighting with the, the Patriots, and there's always a big thing going on around Alex Jones. Uh, and so... Uh, I think the last thing was, was he censors writers on his website, censors uh, his radio shows, uh, pretty much controls everything around him. And, and somebody that has to have tight control on everything around them, they just, you know, it sends up flags around me. You can listen to the way I bring guests on this show. And I'm not defensive. Uh, I let them have their say. If I agree or disagree, I simply state I don't agree with this, and the, and the guest knows, but I don't, uh, I'm not defensive. I, I believe I'm, I'm pretty much well relaxed during my shows. Um, and so you can tell some of these other people, these interviewers that bring on guests, and they handhold them, they put them on a leash, and they don't want to hear anything than a certain type of answer from them. Uh, they try to restrict the answers, how long you have to answer them, exactly when you start to say something interesting, they switch to a radio break, or they ask you another question to get you off the subject, or you know. And, and I call those handheld interviews uh, because they're trying to control them, trying to control what their listeners hear and what they don't. Uh, and so uh, anybody that has to control has has an agenda, <laughs> and, and so they always have red flags around me uh, as far as I'm concerned. Because uh, certainly, if I bring a guest on this show, I give them the floor. I don't handhold. I don't control. I can agree to a disagree. I'll state I don't agree, uh, but I certainly don't put anybody on a leash and handhold them through the shows. And so anybody else that does is pretty suspect to me. Uh, I don't have bosses I'm going to tick off, except for the Most High himself. So I don't have to worry about uh, losing my radio show uh, if I if I make uh, you know my producers mad or the, or the people running the show mad or, or whatever uh, because of information being revealed. I mean, I reveal all kinds of information on this show, and whether people agree to disagree or not, and uh, certainly Steve, who runs Reality Radio Network, uh, doesn't control me. Uh, it doesn't say you can't talk about this, you can't talk about that, or, or anything can't have. There is uh, uh, certain people that are not allowed on this network, and, and it's funny, we, we just all agree on that, and Stu Webb being one of them. 